Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, March 19th through the 20th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries. Thank you so much for all your comments, likes, shares, subscriptions. I appreciate it. If you are interested in a personal read, the information is in the description box below. And remember, time and energy are fluid. So switch up the roles if you need to. And this could be past, present, or future. You have the Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Oh, sorry. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Four of Swords in the Ace of Pentacles here. Let me get a message from Spirit before we begin, Aries. Let yourself go to places... Um, where you're not used to think outside of the box. I'm feeling do things that are not comfortable for you, Aries. So I feel like <laughs> they're telling me a lot of you are bored and you're seeking excitement. So think of something that's outside of your comfort zone and go do it. They're saying activity, so something that's getting your body to move. Love will be coming up right behind you, they said. And they're showing me somebody that's walking. And it's like somebody's following them, but they don't, they're unaware of the person behind them, you know, and then you get showing me them tapping, tapping you on your shoulder. So it takes you a little bit off guard. This, uh, why am I feeling, oh, whoops, what am I doing? Why am I feeling that, um... This activity will actually get you closer to this person that they're saying is right behind you. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now, the King of Wands seeks adventure. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, Aries. So what's going on here? You've got a couple of sevens here. Some of you um, have just dipped your feet into spiritual, I was going to say spiritualism, and then I decided spirituality, and that kind of got mixed up, but spiritualism, okay? I feel that um, some of you have been meditating more. And this is actually giving you uh, creative ideas, they're saying. It's giving you uh, an opportunity to look at life a little bit differently and not be so defensive. It's, it's making you think about where you want to invest your time in, Aries, who you want to invest your time in when it comes to love. And it's also making you think about what you want to do with your life if or if what you're doing is actually making you happy. Is it, is it leading somewhere that you wish to be, right? Or have you just been going through the motions? Okay, let's clarify here. Okay, the Four of Swords is clarified by the Five of Swords. Yeah, some of you, the reason why you're getting into meditating, spiritualism, is because you've noticed you've become angry um, lately. 
you've just been on edge on the feeling. This could be in a love relationship if you're in one, but if you're not in one, it's like, I feel like you're taking it out on the people that you're around. And you know, this comes to your awareness and you're like, nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop this. I gotta figure this out. So this is where your journey begins. Really? Tell me about the seven of wands. Why are you so, yeah, the emperor, this is you. This is you. You're trying to figure out what you want. And you realize that you can't do this if you're on guard all the time. If you're, I mean, look at this individual. Like, he's in a position where he's got the upper hand, yes. And he can see it from a different perspective. But he can become paranoid sometimes. And feel like everything's, everybody's after him. Um something bad is coming just around the corner when the emperor knows better and you are the emperor. So you're reminding yourself of who you are and who you know yourself to be. So this is in essence, balancing you out Aries. Tell me about this opportunity. Tell me about this opportunity. Yeah, this is an opportunity for you to go forward. This is the chariot card, the card of cancer. And the card of balance, the page of wands, is being excited about the future, seeking adventure, okay? Having that youthful spirit, I don't care how old you are. So you're learning to just, you're learning to be who you are, really. Some of you may have gotten sidetracked. Some of you may have gotten caught up maybe in a relationship and that just recently broke up. And you just lost who you were. You just lost who you knew yourself to be. So now you're taking the reins back and you're like, wait a minute. You know, I took a wrong turn somewhere. Let me put it in reverse, go back a little and then go forward again. Tell me about this seven of pentacles, please. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Yeah, the three of swords. It, you invested your time in somebody you feel like it was a waste of time, but nothing's ever a waste of time. Okay, Aries, there's always learning lessons. Look where you are now. There's major growth that's coming out of this, Aries. So never, you know, no regrets, really. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, the Star card. Yeah, you're, you're asking yourself, is this my wish? Or even if it was once before, is this still my wish? What are my wishes now? And you're doing this all while healing. It's like the two are, are intermingling here. Very cool. Okay, so is there, who's coming towards you? I know somebody's right behind you. So who is it? Who is it? Tell me about this individual. Tell me about this individual. It's, they just said they're going to join you on your path. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Okay, you're going to get clarity on this soon. This could be a Libra, but let me clarify. Clarify the Six of Pentacles here. The Hangman. Okay, you're going to have to wait a little for this. This is the card of Pisces. Clarify. Tell me a little bit about this person. I want to know the moon card, the three of cups. For some of you, it's somebody that you know, and it's a reunion. Uh, for others, um, it's still a reunion, but it's just a soul reunion from a previous life. In any case, you will be dating them. Okay, this is hidden from you at this time. They keep saying that, that it's hidden. You're going to have to wait. You may actually be dating them and somebody else at the same time, but this will not go on for too long. This is like, this won't last long at all. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Wands. It's because of this defensiveness, right? That you're still trying to get rid of. You're still trying to release. It's like you don't want to be tied down to one person when you first meet this person. So you're taking it lightly and you're like, no, I'm going to date a couple people and then see. 
So tell me about the moon card. Anything else that's hidden from Aries? Tell me about the moon card. Anything else that's hidden? Ah, the Knight of Wands. Well, one of the people that you're dating, uh, let me clarify, it could be a bit of a player. But you may just want to have fun. I mean, Spirit did say go seek adventure, right? Page of, Page of Pentacles. You're going to be messaging a lot, these people that you're dating. Four of Wands. You, like I said, you're going to realize quite soon that you're going to want to build a foundation. And you're going to know which one that you want to build a foundation with. For some of you, it could be a twin. doesn't have to be. But we do have the Four of Wands here, and that is the 1111 card. We have the High Priestess here. That's what's hidden from you. Again, we have the What's Hidden From You card and the Hermit card. That's talking about inner reflection. That's the card of Virgo, right? Inner wisdom. Continue to listen to your intuition, Aries, okay? Because it's going to continue to give you messages. I'm getting an advice card. Advice. Six of Cups, past life soulmate energy. When you think back uh, on people that you've dated, think about the positive times. Think about the feelings that the positive experiences evoked and try to... They're saying encapsulate those feelings, okay, and hang on to them because it's going to raise your vibration and attract that same energy to you with these people that you're dating. Okay, Aries? All right. I hope you resonated with that. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, information is in the description box below. You have a great day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.